lovey. We're gonna see a victory. Bobby's gonna see. Bobby did see a victory. Amen. Yay, Bobby. <sighs> Mommy says. Mommy says clap, clap, clap. Bobby says. Clap, clap, clap. Daddy says. Go get your key. Um, so I just worked out and it was really really good i'll put the workout on the screen it was super simple um if you guys want to do it but you can probably do it at home with some modification <coughs> with some modifications are you peeking at me bobby who is that azariah <gasps> hello are you peeking over daddy's shoulder <laughs> uh. But, um, if you watched my habit video, you would know that my friend and I have some goals that we want to, that we hope to reach by February-ish, so the rest of November, December, and January. He said your mom. He said your mom. Hi, Bobby. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? go to the gym um or at least work out four days a week and today's monday it's one out of one i'm gonna get four out of four but some of them might have to be at home which is fine i've been doing at home workouts for a long time yeah i get just want snuggles okay i like snuggles i think he's looking at the fan I have him. I have him. What do you even do about it? <gasps> it's mine now. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. So, I wanted to read you guys something because it's a Devo that I did this morning. And it's so, oh my gosh, it was so good, okay? So, it's funny because it's actually a devotional called um, World Changers by Greg Lowry. In this Devo, it's talking about... Um, Enoch in the Bible um, in Genesis and if you don't know the story of Enoch basically he just walked with God really closely and he lived in it was one of the darkest times in history in fact it was so work perverted and evil that God actually said I'm sorry that I even made man in this place Ma made man in the first place um, and so that's the time that Enoch lived in and it basically just goes through his story a little bit and at the end of the story of Enoch basically God just like takes Enoch to heaven. He doesn't die. Enoch doesn't die. He just takes him to heaven. And it's really, it's a really cool story because of just like the faithfulness of Enoch and how closely he walked with God. Yet even in the dark time, Enoch walked with God so steadily that he ended up walking right into heaven without dying. I can almost imagine what happened. After taking many enjoyable walks together and getting deeper and deeper... <laughs> Getting deeper, deeper and deeper into conversation through the years, it's almost as if the Lord turned to Enoch and said, Hey buddy, we've walked a long way and we're closer to my house than we are to yours. Why don't you just come home with me? And I don't know about you, but I want to live in such close communion with God and be in such close relationship with Him that like that is the potential of my life for God to just be like, You're closer to my house than you are to your house. Meaning, you're closer to heaven and eternal things than you are to the world and worldly things so just come home with me is that your kitty is that your kitty is that your kitty <laughs> he's obsessed with donuts it's so funny wait <laughs> wait you're going to do okay press it down press it down first okay I 
Jazz Ryan is currently asleep. I'm just currently editing before he wakes up and he has physical therapy. I want to show you guys just a little bit, a little look inside to what his physical therapy looks like. He gets that once a week. Um, well, he gets that once a week with PT and then he gets it once a week with um, OT. And it's just really cool every single week to see him progress and to see him do new things. He's awesome. He's a champ and I'm just really proud of him. So I'm going to continue editing and then he'll have PT and then I'm going to continue editing after that. On up, he's 10 months. I feel like from nine months, I can't try to get here. From nine months to 10 months. Thank you. Ring away. The animal. Go get it. Go get it. Bobby, can you open your door? We can close it. Got the circle. Ready? One. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's go get it. Two. Three. Both legs down. There. <gasps> Did you find it? He's like, but I really just want snuggles. <sighs> okay. I got ready. I'm not wearing yoga pants and a sweatshirt like I wanted to. I'm actually a little bit dressed. It's currently December 3rd and Azariah turns one January. Oh my gosh. I'm just realizing that I have like a little over a month until my child turns one. I'm gonna not be emotional about that. I wanna make it a super, super special birthday but obviously the first birthday is m way more for the parents and for the people who are going than it is for the actual baby because the baby does not remember it. I just want to talk for a second about um, like some of the ideas that I have. And I have the theme of his party, but I'm not going to share that. I want it to be a surprise. It doesn't, it's not anything to do with World Changer, although a lot of you guys suggested to do something related to World Changer. But I just connected more with another one that somebody mentioned. So we're doing that, but the, the colors and the stuff like that, I'll explain. But one of the things that we're going to be doing for his birthday, his first birthday, is creating a time capsule. And I saved every single letter, every single note, every single item that you guys have sent in that whole span of time that we were going through everything from the time that we got diagnosed and like opened up a P.O. box to now. I have everything saved. So I'm going to put all of that stuff inside of a time capsule along with anything that my family wants to put in there so that he can open it on his 16th or 18th birthday and like literally see all these people who have prayed for him and all these things that happened before he was even born and then throughout his first year of life. I just want to give you the opportunity if if Azariah's story or if the journey that we went through changed your life in any way and you want to let Azariah know that for like to put in his time capsule for him to open when he's 16 or 18. I want to give you guys that opportunity so my email is in the link below and you can email a letter there that I will print out and put in the time capsule um, or you can send a letter to the PO box which is always in the description below so I just wanted to open that up to you because I had some people ask that if they could write something for him for his first birthday and obviously I could like give it to him now when he's one and read it to him but he won't understand so I want to keep those things for when he can understand later so that's the first like biggest thing that we're going to be doing and I'm really excited about that but the theme or the colors of his birthday are just going to be super neutral like creams, browns, tans, um, like just like earthy colors because that's very much I guess my vibe it's the vibe that I like it's um, kind of goes along with his nursery theme because his first birthday is in January. The pandemic is still going on, so we're obviously going to have to keep it super, super intimate and just with close family and stuff. But nonetheless, I want to celebrate him. I want to really just like look back on the whole year of life. The, the decorations that I do get or the things that I, I do um, make, I want to like make them. I want to DIY them or I want to thrift them. 
actually this sweater is thrifted um, you guys know I love thrifting that's like one of my biggest hobbies and passions so I want to thrift as much stuff as that I can or secondhand them off Facebook marketplace stuff like that you're probably gonna ask am I gonna do a smash cake and the answer is yes yes I am I feel like people get judged for doing a smash cake and that's fine because I'm going to make the cake and I am going to enjoy watching him get messy. He gets messy on a daily basis anyway with eating. So it's like, why not? Why not put a cake in front of him and just see him go to town? It's a little bit difficult when your baby's birthday is so close to Christmas because his birthday is January 18th. And so I'm just like, there's just like a lot of things packed in close together that I didn't realize because it has gone so quickly. I have a lot of editing to do and a lot of work to be done. So I'm gonna get back to doing that. But thank you guys so much for watching this day in the life. If you notice, my videos are gonna be a little bit shorter. This video is a little bit shorter because your feedback on Instagram said that you just don't have the time in this season to watch longer videos, which I totally understand. So I'm changing my videos up to be shorter so that hopefully you're able to watch the video, um, the videos that I post a little bit more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to love God, love yourself, and love people, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.